what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel it is another legend of mushroom video and in this one it will be a beginner's guide all right how you can best start the game what you need to focus on to begin with and then up to the point i'm at now that's only where i can give you advice to um so we're going to make this video here and now and these are my best kind of tips for this game okay what i've made mistakes on and how i best progressed etc etc Okay. Now, if you are playing Legend of Mushroom and you are going to be spending before you spend a penny, a cent or whatever your currency is, download Aptoid. Link is in the description below. All the links you need. It will show you how to install it, how to use it. Use code at LM, save an initial 5% cash back. And you also get that 10% base from Aptoid, which builds up to 20%. Certain days you'll get an extra 5% on top of that as well. Effectively, you can save up to 30% on every single day purchase now the good thing is is that aptoid does cover other games as well so your savings will go on to those games too that you may play in the future so connect your wallet keep it safe all right because those discounts could save you a fortune over your gaming life and those of you who are big fans of gachas play a majority of gachas okay so if you can save money here and using cars like lm that won't work on other games but you will still be with Aptoid discount, so don't fear, you're still saving money. All right, so if you're playing any gacha games and Aptoid has it on their store, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to start saving money that you would normally spend. All right, could be a cup of coffee, could be a whole new car. Who knows? All right, people's circumstances are different. Okay, beginner's guide. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So obviously you're going to start at level one. I'm currently level 90. And as you enter the game, you're going to go through the initial guide the game gives you. All right, but that's all well and good. But... Where does that really leave us? What's the objective? What do we do? And that's really why you're here. So with a beginner's guide, we're firstly going to talk about gear. OK, how do we obtain our gear? We obtain our gear via the magic lamp. I have done a separate guide for this much more in depth. If you want to know how to use it best. Um, however, however, just I'm going to add this in here on the magic lamp. As you level up through the game, say you're a bit later on already, um, do please use number of magic lamps used at once. Upgrade this as you upgrade your magic lamp. That is vital because that will save you a ton of time and use the filter. Um, so we're going to obviously be getting our equipment. Now, don't worry about rarity to begin with. Always choose the highest rarity until you get to a point of immortal status with your, your gear. That's when you can start to select your substats. Don't worry about substats until you get to around immortal. OK, that's going to be level 16. You're going to really start getting a lot of immortal gear. Um, so that's when you can start to kind of focus on that. Uh, so that's that for gear, but just focus on the stats before substats to begin with. All right. We want those stats. We want those base stats. They are going to increase our power dramatically. You're going to be going through the campaign, of course, and it will be on auto, but then you'll get certain bosses and you may lose one. You may need to upgrade a bit of, um, like you, you can get here from doing certain dungeon. You get your relics. Upgrading your first relic or whatever can really increase your stats so much rather than just searching for new relics all the time because that does get costly all right that does get costly on the note of that we did get an immortal piece we can see here i've got crit rate and evasion this is stun and combo um i will actually take this i need more combo with my build so i will take the combo booster um and the dungeons that we get as well as the campaign and you can see the bosses up here i did just lose a challenge but you can re-challenge at another point the game will continue to fight on that stage you're currently on you'll get afk rewards etc um, but these are your dungeons all right now you do get across the abyssal portal this is a little bit later on you won't be doing this just yet um assault lamp thieves this is where we get our magic lamps or extras you also get two extra keys a day by watching an advert or if you buy the pack you can skip the adverts completely and just collect it that's actually a huge time saving one by buying that pass i really do recommend that if you're purchasing anything at all uh, molten ruins this is where we get diamonds and tickets for skill pals or for skills and pals the ruined ancient city this is for your relics which i was just showing you okay when this is unlocked you start doing this you can see here key times one two out of two attempts i can click that it will bypass that advert for me because i did buy that pack the chrono tower as well this is for the uh the winders for your mounts i don't want to go into mounts just yet i will do in a moment to do a video on that one as well this is where we upgrade our mounts we need the winders the clock winders to upgrade it we can click quick upgrade and you get a huge boost okay once you get to the end of the tier you get a huge boost from going from tier one to two the stars aren't a massive boost they're still nice but the biggest boosts are when you go from tier one to two tier two to three tier three to four etc 
and so on and so forth. Um, also, again, if you want more information about the mounts, you can look at my other video on that one I posted yesterday. Also, don't ignore this little button here. Next to your stage, you're going to have two arrows. Okay, and what happens when we click this? Speed up battle. Watch an ad and get 30 minutes of battle acceleration. It's quite a considerable amount. It will boost your farming rate quite considerable. Um, obviously, I've got the view ad pack so i can skip that and it will just do it you can see it will instantly speed up you can see the movement is faster here and that will go on for 30 minutes and it looks like i'm going to die on this stage just while we're here just while we're here we are about to die so it rewinds back to the beginning of the stage and then it will continue again um so we've covered gear we've covered the campaign if you do want to at some point be like okay i'm ready for the boss just click challenge it will take you into the, the boss phase and you will then begin to fight let's hide that away there you can see it here in fact i haven't watched this let's just do the boss fight quickly to see how close it was i don't believe i have upgraded anything since sometimes you know you've got rng involved when it comes to evasion crit rate etc on your substats so just because you lost one time doesn't mean you're going to lose a second time so do try that second time as well in the bottom left, you're going to have these constant little quests that are going to give you diamonds. Keep doing these as frequently as possible. Um, always have your lamp going on. And I would say use the magic lamp at free. You get so many of these lamps. OK, you get so many of them. Um, so don't worry about using all of your, your tokens because it ne you need to use it to upgrade to get the gold to upgrade your lamp anyway. Um, and then when it's upgrading, once you get to level 16, I wouldn't speed this up any further. Just let this hold, okay? Let your, your guild help you or your family help you uh, and wait for it because you're better off using those speed up tokens elsewhere, which we'll get to in a moment. Now, we do get, um, this is your class. God, I just realized how much there is actually to this game. It's actually a lot more than I initially thought there would be in this game, but it's pretty good. You've got a ton of classes to choose from, all right? Now, more than likely, especially if you're a non-spender, I would say that Mage is probably going to be your best option to begin with, and you can change class at any point, okay? But you're going to get a better kind of progression to begin with in the game as Mage. And I like Archer, okay? I, I like the combos that you deal, the extra damage, but you will need quite good skills you will need the certain relics and certain substats as well and you can also go down a warrior route i believe you need like counter striking crit rate i believe but you need a lot of counter strike with this class so again substats but the best choice to go for is probably mage in the beginning of the game later on as you progress through i don't know how far you want to do it it depends if you're spending or not then you can make the switch to Archer or Warrior. You may stick as Mage. You may have a build that works great for you. Okay. There are builds that do work and are great, even as Mage, wherever they are. Um, so don't just think, wow, just because he said I should switch, I should switch. If you are enjoying that and you're not struggling and you're progressing very nicely and you're doing well in PvP, stay as Mage. Um, skills. So we get our skills, we get this from doing our summons or our draws. And we, we upgrade these over time. Now, you will do a lot of draws, but a game does give you a ton for free. All right, don't panic. Um, if you do spend, though, you will get more, but that's like in any gacha. We're going to equip certain ones. This act isn't actually ideal. This is literally just a quick equip right now, um, but I'm progressing fine. I don't need to do certain ones just yet. I should probably be using the slime bomb, uh, but for now, I'm happy with this. So we are obviously early on. You're going to want these these effects of the, the stat boost possibly over certain effects that the skill is doing. But if we just take a look here, for instance, this level 13 is 208% increase of stats. This level 11 is 88%. So, you know, that's that, that's close. Although this is epic, so the rarity does make a difference. An epic level 13 is 208% and a mythic level 11 is 88%. Whereas a legendary um, of just base is 32%. So bear that in mind that it does change a lot. If we just look at a well piece here, a level 57, it's 125%. That's the difference in those pals are going to fight beside you. All right. Now, there's a lot of cheap offers, actually. We can get some really good ones to boost up, especially like little cactus. This is a, a you know, a ton of extra stats to begin with in the game. 240% at level 15. Um, and he mainly came from packs and it wasn't expensive packs either. But that can be a big boost to you. It's exactly the same concept as the skills with your pals. Um, but you also will later on get different features to upgrade some of your pals. Like the panda, for instance. I could go and find a relic in the game. 
um, for a pet. And this one increases Panda Pal's crit rate by 16.7%. So little things like that are going to boost your account. But this is not beginner stuff. Okay, this is later on for you to look forward to. Uh, what else can we quickly cover for you in this video? Um, make sure that once you have been doing your um, upgrade on your skills and powers, make sure you go into your handbook and click enhance on these because you are getting extra stats from getting certain powers and certain skills and getting them to a certain level. It's always upgrading. You can see here, this one goes to level 60, level 60, level 60. If you have these three at level 60, you're going to enhance the extra counter damage by 0.6%. So it's constantly upgrading obviously doing your dailies is vital uh, make sure you're clicking on all of your events and doing them there's a lot of red circles in this game all right it's going to trigger you if you do have ocd thankfully it doesn't affect me too much um so it doesn't bother me doesn't bother me like so uh, you will get celebration rewards uh for doing draws etc and doing prayers and sharing the game you'll get extra rewards as well um this one here will have like 3000 draws this is an ongoing event once you've cleared so many stages you get a ton of extra draw tokens that's why i'm saying they give you so many for free as well you get um, a reward for spending you get a seven day trial initial reward which you're completing tasks and you'll get certain rewards from this uh, some pretty good ones as well for instance like these 30 clock winders are handy speed up tokens hammers you know so there's a lot that they do give you for free uh, of course, there's a lot to give you for spending too. Um, for instance, you can come into the game and buy a, buy an epic Thunder Awaken cap for for nine ninety nine. But you will replace this, you know. You will replace this pretty soon. It won't last you that long. Um, as well, in the bottom right here, we have Adventure Rank. Once you reach a certain character level or Magic Lamp level or your power reaches a certain point, you can upgrade from Expert 1 to Expert 2. It will begin at Rookie and you get a big stat boost here, which you can see. So make sure you're promoting your Mushroom. Um, the PvP is on the left. Make sure you're doing a PvP daily. I kind of slacked yesterday, so I missed out on some attacks, so I'm a bit behind. Do it daily, but later in the day, the better, as long as you do it and you can attack certain people, get that gold for your better reward. You also get cross-server ranked match. Again, same sort of concept, wait later in the day, so you've got that power up, so you can attack people to beat. Uh, blah, 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 blah. In here, we have our... Okay, so this is like the initial... This is a very important part of the game, all right? You're going to get mining. You're going to get mining. You need to mine ore. And like sometimes you can find a bomb. If you find a bomb, pick up the bomb, all right? Pick up the bomb. Same as ore. You see we've got the ore there. We've got 84. You've got like yellow crystals come up. You get silver crystals. Yellow crystals are worth a lot more. I think you can buy a pack for this and active license. It will do it automatically for you. So I don't know how good that one is because I don't have that pack. The bomb has a very large radius, so if there's like a lot of things all around in a, in, in a space, use that bomb because it's going to save you a ton of pickaxes on guessing those. What do we do with the ore? Well, this is actually a huge part to the game. With the ore, we upgrade our stats massively, okay, in the tech room. Attack speed is up. Base health is up. Base attack, base defense, you get the idea. Pow damage is up. Uh, pickaxe capacity so it's all upgrades to your account look at this one here base health 800 base attack 800 base defense 800 so these are huge boosts so the more all you can get the better because you will be boosting your account massively especially because it's just multiplying everything tenfold right uh, this one here base health. the first one of this does cost 7600 but base health is 800 percent. and this is where you really should be saving your coupons for okay you can click help but ideally if you've got a lot of all we want to speed these up you know so 40 coupons is going to speed this up it will be done instantly you will get two hours a day where you can skip time as so and i could speed this up and that's it unlocked automatically i don't have the all for the next level though so that was pointless me doing it i just wanted to do that for video sake offline earnings here plus 20 percent so the tech park and mine is huge we also get the shroomy farm this will unlock after a few days in the game for you you'll grow your plants you will pick them you get fertilizer you get seeds you get basic seeds you get basic seed premium seeds and you get my goodness what is the other one called is that this one here oh, advanced seed all right so you get advanced seed 
basic seed and premium seed. Ideally, you want to be having premium seeds because they always give you the top quality. But these ones do have a chance, or the advanced seed have a chance of giving you a high quality. Fertilizer is also expensive, but diamond cost seems to reset each day. All right, so although like this one, this one seed will cost three fifty now. The next one's going to cost seven hundred. Okay, so it escalates, but that resets at the next day. So buy a certain amount of fertilizer with your gems and wait till the next day to get more. Okay, don't just go right. I want to buy five, five of these now for seventeen fifty. But tomorrow you run out of gems and you've got it reset down to a hundred gems or whatever. So space that out. Space that out. Take advantage of the days. It does last. A long time, unless you're in a massive rush, you've got a ton of money and you want to just buy loads of gems, and that's absolutely fine, that's completely up to you. As you upgrade your level of your mana, you will unlock more farms. This one here will unlock at level 18. You are already only have one to begin with. I think the second one unlocks at level five or four. Um, preferably upgrade your building first, the greenhouse, because the harvest quantity is increased, the growth speed is increased, and the daily seed count refresh is increased. But you will need to, once this is level 2, you will need these at level 2 to upgrade it to level 3, and so on and so forth. I need to upgrade this one. Do they just need to be at level 2, or do they need to be at level 3? It does say insufficient, I've got insufficient building points. I'll hold off now at level 2 on these two side ones, and I'll upgrade to level 4 next. Um, I don't I don't fancy upgrading these right now unless you get an attack a lot or you're doing a lot of attacking then it might be viable um, You can crop steel by the way from other players. I could go to crop steel I could go to someone else's farm see here there's easy to fly sorry easy to fly Let's go and steal his crops still and that will take 15 minutes and he'll be stealing the crops So that's also a nice little fun feature uh, we get as well. What do we do with the points we get from farming? We can go to the prayer statue and here is where we roll for certain stats. All right. And obviously it's done in different ranks. A, B, C, D, E. You get the drill. Uh, global defense, global uh, combo damage, global attack is increased. Crit damage bonus. Now, this again is going to really depend around your build on your mushrooms. And I hate to keep going on because this is a beginner video, but going forwards, you know, you're going to want to do this properly. Uh, to begin with, obviously, just get what you can because you need to pray to level up your statue to unlock more of these. So you're going to need to keep praying, all right? And um, obviously, you want to get to A and you want to get a high ratio on that as well. You will unlock set two at statue level five. But once these are locked, you cannot pray, all right? So if you're happy with all your stats and it's locked, I'm sorry, you are going to need to keep rolling until you get to set two. You're gonna, you may only have to unlock one, but just keep improving, okay? Keep some lock that you really want, like attack percent is always great. Um, if you're not going on a defensive hero, then you're not gonna want a defense, you may wanna roll that one again. I'm not quite sure, but you get the idea. It's a big boost to your hero. So praying with what you get from your shroomy farm is very important. Uh, the dormitory, this is where you capture, capture other people's characters or other people's avatars. You have to battle them to capture them. You get tickle them, etc. But that's not the fun. The, the, that's the fun part, not the good part. You get online rewards constantly, and when you're offline, you will also get rewards that you can claim from this. You can see there that was only like twenty odd minutes. You got magic lamps. You got gold coins. So this is also important. I am currently captured by King H. King H is so nasty, so nasty. And let's try and escape. The fun thing is, you can call for help and have someone in your server try and save you. This guy's a lot stronger than me, though, and he's probably going to destroy me. As you can see, I'm hardly doing any damage to him, and he is just wrecking me right now. Absolutely destroying me. So, I'm not going to be able to escape from this dude. Unless someone else saves me. So sad. So sad. Um, so, yeah, the dormitory, we get rewards from it. Do it on a daily basis. You can own up to five um uh, retainers so i've only got three right now so some have escaped so i need to go and get those i'm not sure what parking wars is yet but i on day 10 uh so we will get to that now you join a family there's quite a bit to do in your little family and you will see people running around here okay you will see that the most important part is the blazing cave you want to do this if you like if you get quite a few days every eight hours it resets your attempts keep attacking that good to get rewards also sign up for the raid each day. Um, I think it does sign up after collecting for you initially. Uh, you can see the family schedule in here is a family treasure hunt that sometimes goes around. You pick up chests on the map and the raid Grumpy Big Head is obviously daily as well. 
Uh, the other one is coming soon. There will be family brawls, so guild versus guild as well, which is always fun. And this game really has gone, you know, it to town on certain features, right? There's a lot here already. Um, there's a family shop where we can redeem for certain rewards that we want on our account, like gold or speed up coupons, magic lamps, draw tickets, power tickets, advanced seed, drills, bombs, challenge tickets. You can see I've taken Divine Feathercorns empowerment gear. Um, I haven't taken Divine Feathercorn, but I would take empowerment gear and I would take bombs and drills for a moment because I really do want to get more ore built up. I'm not too worried about the magic lamp. I wouldn't get the magic lamps yet. 200 is quite expensive for those. Um, unless you're very early on, you may want to really try and get a piece of gear. Um, so that is it for your family. Try and join a strong one if you can, because obviously if everyone else is strong, you can get more help. If they're more active, it's going to be more frequent. Um, the shop in the game. This is where we do our summons. Like, so we can draw for 35 here on this skill, and you can see things that come through. The rarity does change throughout it. Um, as you get to a higher level, and this caps out at level 15, and the rates are the best at that point, you get the same for the pals, and the same kind of objective, right? Each level will increase, and a certain amount of draws will increase that level. And you can see that this is exactly what happens when you draw for pals. Um, in, as well in the shop, you have got your deals, that you've got the gems, and you get extra, on your first recharge, you do get extra stuff for the pack shop is probably where you like the best offers are really um on certain feet like certain things for instance if you're looking for for a pal pack you can get pals skill packs you can get skills and they will be a really big boost to your account early on especially um you can get diamond packs you can get speed up coupons with diamonds so if you're buying diamonds you can use them to buy certain things in here like waggler clock winder but be aware there are certain events which sell waggler clock winders for you can get a thousand for 31,500 gems, so that is a cheaper alternative. You can get Wagon of Gold as well if you really are you know, wanting to upgrade your magic lamp really soon. And your daily deals as well. So there's tons going on. There's tons going on. And of course, if you are looking in this part of the shop, you are a spender and you should all be using Aptoid uh, to save money for up to 30%. You know, do not miss it. Uh, you have got server rankings. You've got level rush. Where am I at the moment? 14. Okay. Best of the best. Pokemon par. So far ahead of me. 3,000 levels. GG. Uh, you've got prayer rush. Uh, this is from your farm. And my rank on this is all 458. So way behind. And you can imagine the stat boost that these guys are getting. Also got the weapons here, which is just an ongoing event at the moment. From here, the lucky spinner on the note of the lucky spinner. You can save your spinning tokens for the next event. If you really want to get to that 500 draws to get the guaranteed final award, then you can do that. Uh, what else is there quickly? Currently, there's a Pepe event going on where if you jump through the things 10 times, you get 200 diamonds on a daily basis. There's also a 7-day or 10-day login reward for Pepe uh, where you get rewards, which is always nice. And what's this one here? This is just packs that are being offered. And then there's currently as well Legendary Tycoon going on where we're playing Monopoly, basically. Basically playing Monopoly. And you could see that that wagon, wagon o'clock one, which I was on about earlier, is 31,500 here. So if you are spending your gems on that, this is the good place to get it. I probably will get that one as well in a moment. Um, that is pretty much it for the beginner's guide. If you watched the entire thing, thank you for watching. Make sure you do like, subscribe, or comment below to help this channel grow. There is a world chat feature as well, as you can see down here. You can also change your battle plan. So if you've got a set battle plan for certain things, you can change that. You've got gear plans as well. Set one, two, and three, which is always nice. And you do have presets for Arena, uh, the Raid, and Shroomy Farm Parking Wars Retainer. So that's nice as well. We can have certain sets for certain things. Uh, we Obviously, these unlock at a later day. Day 15, character reaches level 60, that one lock. The wings unlock at day 18. And artifacts are also here. But you need to refine up to level 20, or unlocks at level 21, sorry, in order to get this. Unless you do buy a weapon, then you will get those immediately but you will still get these base things you're just not getting it or you will get the ignore evasion i believe you won't get all of the base right i'm not quite sure on how this one's working just yet i'm not quite sure if you're getting all of these until the weapon's actually unlocked but it takes time it takes time to unlock it the mounts again we did go through a video on that so i don't need to go through that again um and that is it for the video that is it for the video we're still on that speed rate up we're still waiting for our magic lamp to upgrade. Let's upgrade that for six minutes quickly. And then we go through the same 
process again of purchasing to upgrade but we're getting higher stats soon supreme will be unlocked it's probably gonna be at level 20 isn't it probably gonna be level 20 for that to unlock so i look forward to that to get to get, getting hopefully supreme gear that'll be a massive boost again and then we're gonna go through the whole substat rolling thing all over again all over again so hopefully that's helped the majority of you especially if you're a beginner just remember just focus on getting that gear campaign progression keeping on top of events it's all going to help your account a lot okay doing well in arena doing well on level rush doing well on shroomy farm and uh conserve your gems don't just go putting them all into summons because certain places you can use your gems that are going to be really useful to you i'll see all of you in the next video have a fantastic day even wherever you are goodbye <laughs>